Hello and welcome to this video on um, HTML5. In this video I'll be showing you the difference between new and old in terms of placeholders. So a placeholder is basically when you have a field, um, an input field of some kind, and it has some text inside it, that is usually a placeholder, if it's there by default at least anyway. And normally what would happen is... I'll create a third field a second. Normally, to get some... Uh, data in here, you'd have to do value is equal to some value, and when you click aside it, it's there, and you'd have to delete, highlight it, delete it, and then start typing. However, that's just messy and it's not really wanted. Most of the time, what you want is the, the relevant information inside it, but when a person goes to click on it, they get to have it so that they can start entering their data immediately. And if you click outside, then it stays there, but if they delete their data for whatever reason, it goes back and fills up the placeholder. Now, one, two things that you should notice is, firstly, this requires quite a bit, well, it's one line, two lines per field, one for one focus or one for one blur. You could do this as a function, but it gets more complicated, and I'm not going to go into it since I'm not actually explaining what this code does. And also, it looks the same as a normal input, so you might not know the difference. For example, they might not know whether what they are entered, entering or what has been entered is relevant or not. For example, username, that's obviously what you're going to have to enter, but for some weird reason if somebody's username was username, or more importantly, if the um, password field here, we've got password, and it's showing up the word password, but it's showing it with the black dots, and that is simply because it is just having the value inside there and we're just telling it to hide the value or delete the value once we're clicking into it. So the way to get around this is you could either add a lot of extra code which will make it so that it will change the type of this field when you click on it and change it back when you click out of it but only if it's not the default value and so on. Or you can go in the new HTML5 way which I've got open here in a new folder or a new file rather and instead of doing value is equal to change value to placeholder and change that to username and if we open up this file here you can see it's gone uh, slightly grey so that you can tell it's a placeholder and not your information If you, it's still there when you click on it so you don't forget but when you start typing it go, it's when you start typing it disappears and replaces it with the black or whatever colour text you decide to put and you start typing and when you click out even though it's the same as the default it stays there and doesn't disappear whereas on this one if I change the new username it disappears as soon as I go back or if I change it to Alex click back in it doesn't disappear okay and the other thing that's quite useful if, if we set this one to password we hear, we now see there is password without the data type. So the input type doesn't really matter. You could have anything you like within reason. I don't think you can use stuff like the format, file inputs, but that's a different topic. Um, there is ways to get around that, but that would include having an extra span tag next to it and so on. And when you click into it, it's still there, but when you start typing, it is password.